what's going on everyone, Matthew from TheRightTrader.com back today with another daily crypto update. We're going to talk about the fact that the market took a pretty big hit today and obviously just yesterday it was looking like we were going to be able to put in a bit of a base and consolidate but now that we're dropping below some support levels we're going to have to adjust to that and we're still okay for now so I don't think we should be worried as of right now but if we do drop below some critical support levels that's when things will start getting you know much more bearish. And I think that in these types of situations, you just have to look at the market leader, which is, of course, Bitcoin, and really see how it's doing, how it's doing relative to its support levels and kind of go from there, right, which we will be doing during the technical analysis side of this video in just a second. And over the past 24 hours, a lot of cryptocurrencies down, it seems like anywhere from four to five percent. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for live cryptocurrency market updates. Also, make sure to check out my premium content. Link to both those things in the description of this video. And let's get started first off with the Bitcoin technical analysis. So Bitcoin is actually still holding up pretty well. It's coming up on that $8,000 support level, but it is the second time that we will be testing that. So that increases the likelihood that we drop below it. And our lower Bollinger Band, middle band, definitely pointing downwards, indicators pretty weak right now. So I'm not going to be surprised if we do end up testing our pink uptrend line over here. And as long as we remain above that level, we're still fine, right? But that's definitely the critical support level that we don't want to drop below is this pink uptrend line. If we're able to hold above it, we should just be able to overall uh, move in the pretty big range between these two pink trend lines. But like I said, if we do end up dropping below that uptrend line and we lose that support, that's when things will become much more bearish, not only for Bitcoin, but for the general market. However, we're, we're still hopeful for now, right? We're still holding up pretty well. And uh, as long as we're above those support levels, we're still good, basically. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum, definitely a pretty big drop here. looks like this current candlestick may turn green. We'll have to see. We do have some support in this area near $640, but it is pretty likely, seeing how a lot of cryptocurrencies are a bit weak right now, that we do end up going down to $600. That won't be the end of the world either. I'd say for Ethereum, the only point that I'd be very concerned is if we drop below $500. So we still have a ways to go. And hopefully, you know, we won't drop below $600. But if we do, we just really want to make sure that we don't drop below $500 because that's where it will become extremely bearish. Let's go ahead, take a look at Litecoin next, see what's going on. So Litecoin is currently, you know, it's been trickling lower actually. We do have uh, a pretty steady downtrend over the past week or so. And we'll, we'll have to see how we're going to start acting. Uh, now we're back down to around $130. I think we're, we have a high chance of dropping even a, bit, a little bit lower, down to $120, possibly even $110. Any drop below $110 would be quite bearish. And, you know, that would make a lower low compared to our previous back over here. So we definitely want to try to avoid that. As for a bullish reversal, it'll be breaking out of this pink downtrend line over here. So that's what we're going to be looking at as far as bullish signals. But for now, definitely could see uh, at least a drop to $120. Hopefully not lower than that. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nano next. So Nano is unfortunately taking a pretty big hit. It's down to 60,000 Satoshis. We could still get a bounce here, but any drop below that would likely push us to 50,000 Satoshis. And if we drop below 50,000 Satoshis, that's one of those big round number support levels, which makes them very important. And, you know, a drop below that would be very bearish for, for Nano, no doubt about it. Let's go ahead, take a look at Ripple next, see what's happening. So we're going to go over to the Bittrex chart. And Ripple is currently right below 65 cents. That was our previous support level. Not the best sign that we dropped below that. For now, though, we're not experiencing any kind of uh, sharp drop. Indicator is still holding up pretty well. So hopefully we won't have to uh, deal with going back down to 50 cents and we'll be able to recover above 65 cents pretty quickly. But we'll know in due time, right? We'll, we'll just have to see. You know, we do have some support around 55 cents. So if we do reach that level, hopefully, as long as we don't break below 50 cents, then, then we're still okay, right? It, we won't be, you know, at the strongest. But at least we'll, we'll have maintained that critical support level of 50 cents, which we already tested in the past. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be NEO, and see what's going on. So NEO is currently right below uh, $59, and that means that it's below $60, which was our previous support. At this point, I'd say that if we don't see a reversal pretty quickly, we'll probably start moving closer to $50 and maybe even to $43. 
So any move below $50 would likely push us down to $43. And anything below that is that critical support level that we don't want to drop below. Let's take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens has been kind of all over the place, moving a lot of the time against the crowd. So we're going to see what's going on here and how it's acting uh, compared to the rest of the market. But as you can see, definitely been having uh, a downtrend here in the short term. And that looks like it's going to continue a little bit longer. However, we have come up on some support here at around 3,600 Satoshis. So hopefully we can put in a bit of a base, maybe even break out of the short-term downtrend line. If we do, that's a good sign, right? That means that we probably wouldn't be moving much lower. Uh, maybe at the worst, 3,400 Satoshis, but probably not going to see a drop below that. However, any drop below 3,400 Satoshis is going to be very bearish. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be LISC and see how it's holding up. So our next cryptocurrency is actually Vertcoin. Can't forget that. So let's take a look at Vertcoin now. Vertcoin is not doing too bad. It has some support uh, around $2, anywhere from $1.80 to $2. So we'll see how it acts around here. Uh, hopefully we can put in a bit of consolidation that will most likely avoid us from dropping too much lower. However, if we do see that we're starting to move you know, below $1.80, that's when we might get a drop down to $1.54, which is our critical support level. Let's take a look at LISC now, see what's going on. So moving over to Bitrix, we can see that LISC did end up dropping below $10, unfortunately. It was looking pretty strong just a few days ago, and it didn't really deal well with that middle band. Actually, everything started turning over from there. So we rejected any kind of bullish turnaround, and now you know we're even looking a little bit bearish below $10. I'd say if the rest of the market sees to continue some weakness over the next few days, we're probably going to go back towards that $8 mark. Let's take a look at Cardano next, see what's happening. So Cardano is currently, let's take a look. Cardano is moving down to, I need to go over to the Bitrix chart. Sorry about that, I always forget. That's where all my uh, previous lines have run out. Cardano is currently pretty much in the middle of its range between 2,500 and 3,000 Satoshis. It does have some support there, so could start to see uh, some consolidation in this area. That would be a good sign. The level that we don't want to break below is 2,500 Satoshis. So we'll know over the next few days, you know, if we're going to be able to put in a bit of a base here or if we're already going to be heading back towards 2,500 Satoshis. Let's take a look at our last cryptocurrency of the daily crypto update. That's going to be IOTA. And right now, IOTA is hanging around $1.63. A little bit of support here, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it drop below, um, sorry, towards $1.47. Definitely don't want to see it drop below that. That would be quite bearish. You know, I'm pretty hopeful that we'll be able to get a bounce there. Honestly, for, for IOTA, even if we were to drop down to $1.10, that would still be a lower, uh, a higher low compared to our previous low. So it definitely wouldn't be great, but not the end of the world. Uh, but what we want here is to not drop below $1.47. And just as long as we maintain above that, we should still more or less be okay. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.